Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're taking a look into Animation Core. I actually got to experience and see the creation of this plugin step by step and actually had a conversation with the developer afterwards. And in his words and why I think this is one of the plugins that is a must have for anybody that wants to make a custom unique server compared to no others is with the following quote. I made this because no one else did. And I love that so much compared to other servers where they would just copy and paste as much as possible. He decided to go one step ahead and make something unique and actually publish it for others to use and i just love every aspect of that let's actually get into the meat and bones of this plugin because i know that's what you're here for animation core allows you to add animations to certain states of your minecraft player and you can provide this to players for example if they have a rank you can allow them to do this if they donate you can allow them to use certain actions it all depends on how you want to provide this to your players but it gives you a ton of possibilities some animation states for example band def gy which is amazing and was a suggestion that i do love that he took join kill leave respawn teleport in and teleport out these are all animations you can provide to your players to make them feel special and that you care about your player base so with that being said i was provided an example pack and it everything that I use in this video will be in the description down below. So why don't we check it out? In order to do that, all you need to do is run a special command. This of course is only for test. Everything in this plugin is permission based, so it's easily applicable to any rank or just per player basis. But in order for you to see how it works, you can do anim anime core. I am hoping I said that correctly. And then we're gonna do space and here are just some of them that we can run. We can run ban, emote, kill, but what we're gonna do test so we can actually run a test example. In this case, I wanna do, for example, join and we can do one that I actually find quite hilarious. It's an Amazon package. After you do the animation, you can do the player in which you wanna run into. In this case, it's going to be me. So you can see a drone just come up and deliver me, which is spectacular. Of course, you can make your own animations as well. So you're not limited to what you can only find with in the platform so we can do drill and that will literally drill me in like i'm a robot this is phenomenal as well and i love how everything is just seamless let's do paper this is just actually we're gonna do paper for a different event of course there is a bubble animation i forgot to run player and this one is just amazing there's honestly not a lot of words i can actually provide you guys can see it for yourself it is spectacular let's go ahead and do leave and we will do <laughs> let's do the leave and then we're gonna run the play the paper animation which is just goofy i just love seeing myself as a 2d character for some reason we can also do fly away and i keep forgetting to run the player and of course this is applicable so if you want them to show their skins or not you can change that information i would like to provide if you are running shaders you will need to disable shaders as they don't work properly so that's why you do have the option of either enabling it for skins or just allowing you to use it without the skins of course this is 100 percent up to you let's do a different leave for example there are different ones so if we do the leave but for the drill this time it will slowly remove every single part and i'll be gone and like i said this is phenomenal in the way it works so if i run the paper one example this is for a deaf animation and i just love how you just fold yourself and then just disappear just like that but hey that's enough said why don't we actually hop into model engine i'm gonna make a quick animation and then i'll try to import it to show you how easy it is to actually do this on your own i'm just using a preset from animations and all i did was deconstruct the player you don't have to do that i'm just lazy and i don't want to recreate it one by one but it's not that difficult all you really have to do is make a player model you can also use the default starter pack that comes with a player model and just copy that and make a new model it's not that difficult but i'm babbling on let's actually see what we can do here what i want to do is make it so whenever you're in a gy a menu will pop up your character will go in an animation state where there's going to be a menu and well they're in that menu it's relatively simple i don't want to over complicate it and create something too complex as this is of course just for tutorial purposes what i will do at least is just create a new bone I'm going to go ahead and put this in my folder. I'm going to call it to GUI. I'm going to add a cube in here and let's go ahead and just move that cube. I just want it to be a flat 2D kind of holographic display that they can use. And to make it even better, I will add another cube into here and I'm going to make it sort of like a floating keyboard. Again, this is nothing too complicated or new but i just want to make something a little goofy and now let's rotate it of course i have to follow the rule of 45 and 22.5 so let's do that and then we can just scale this up to make it a longer keyboard looks symmetrical to me and i think we're golden let's just add a bit of texture to it
not not my finest work <laughs> uh but what i've i could do in a few minutes i guess this is acceptable not really this is this looks terrible please not do what i do i'm in a rush i'm i'm trying to do a tutorial but this this looks terrible but yeah i just try to make a simple gui with a minecrafter block a diamond block and uh, an apple <laughs> A god apple that looks like a pumpkin. God, this looks worse the more I look at it. However, again, this is all for tutorial purposes and this janky keyboard. Just don't do what I do. Make higher resolutions. I, it, you can't, you can't do much in a three by three grid. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and go into animations. And here is where we're going to make the magic happen. Main thing you need to know is that you don't need to make different models for different animations. You can use the same model for multiple animations. So if I want to use this exact janky keyboard with weird hologram, I can. I can use it for more than one animation type. I just need to create different animation states. So here I can do, for example, I'm going to do N A N I M I, so short for animation, and then I'll just do dash leave. And then this would be my animation for leaving. The same situation, I'll do animation, but this time I'll do GUI, and this one's going to be for GUI. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the first one because I won't be using it, but just for example, but I'm just showing you that you don't have to make different models or make different files for more animations. You can use the same model and you can add as many as you want. It's just really that easy. Now, I'm just gonna keyframe it, and I've done a tutorial on this before, so I'm just gonna speed right through it. All right, now again, don't do what I'm doing. This is all tutorial and I really can't say that enough, but it's a simple animation and all it really does is just an infinite loop of a Minecraft player <laughs> clicking infinitely on the keyboard, but it works. It works for what I'm trying to do here. All I have to do now is just save it as a project, of course, and then we're going to upload this and I'm gonna show you guys the rest. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop into my server and here is where we're gonna make more magic happen, I guess. And of course, if you guys want a server of your own and you wanna start this project out today, why don't you guys check out Revive Node? Revive Node have premium servers for a budget price. And not only can you get Minecraft server, but other games as well. If you wanna take it to the next level, there's even dedicated options, but Revive Node lets you seamlessly work on your projects directly for the panel. Easily install versions, plugins, worlds, mods, even more. If you guys wanna get started today, use the promo code DIAMOND for 15% off your very first purchase. Other than that, let's get back to this tutorial. So for this, what we're gonna do is go into our file manager and here I'm gonna go into plugins and then we're gonna go into animation core. So we're gonna go into plugins and first thing we're going to do is go into model engine, blueprints, and in here, we're gonna go ahead and just drag and drop what we have made. Next thing, we're gonna go back into plugins. Now we need to go into mythic mobs. And here we can just use the core file if you want, you can make your own, but we're just gonna go ahead and copy and go to the bottom of it and just paste it in. That way we don't have to type it all from zero. What we're going to do is just name this. So this is going to be GUI and I'm just gonna call it keyboard. So it's gonna stay as an item display because that's the type of entity we're gonna go for. We don't have to mess with much here other than of course the model itself. And for that, we called it GUI underscore animation. That's the name of the file that was located in our model engine folder that we added. And then I'm also going to do is just remove the skill because we're not actually going to need that. If it causes any issues, we can add it back later. That's not a, that's not too much of an issue for us. But the main thing we're going to name, remember here is GUI keyboard. And now we're going to go back into plugins. We're going to go into animation core and let's check out the config real quick. In here, you have permission message. So you do not have permission to run this command. You have the default animation if you want to provide this to players. But if you want to as well, you can link it up to a database. You have teleport animations. This is what will make teleport animations actually run. Now, the reason it is this way is because you don't want it to be running on every command or every action. If you are a administrator, for example, and you're invisible, you don't want players to know that you just came in in a hot air balloon because of an animation. It would completely ruin moderation. And then you can have it on trigger, join delay, and you also have the AFK timer, which is on ticks. We don't have much to modify other than that. Let's go into GUIs. And in here is just copy fly away animation. I'm just gonna go line down, backspace all the way, click enter. And I'm gonna rename this to just GUI keyboard without any spaces and the model, the mythic mobs ID, and this is GUI keyboard. And now I can provide it with phone permissions. So I'm gonna do GUI and keyboard. So if I wanted to provide this to my community or to my player base, I just need to provide them with this simple permission right here and that's it. That's everything we need to do. We just boot up the server now. All right, so now we're back in game and all we need to do is run the command, animate corp, test, 
GUI keyboard and then me. And what players are going to see is, of course, me on a keyboard doing the animation. And it's really that simple. It didn't even take that long. Of course, you know, editing and speeding a process and removing all my fatal mistakes that I was doing when I was creating the model. We don't see that. We don't need to. But nonetheless, of course, the plugin itself is amazing. I highly recommend you guys check it out in the description down below. Hey, I'm Diamond. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.